Don't panic. Deal with it. Wait. <laughs> you starting to see pictures, ain't you? Stay cool. There were other people. Why should you be the only one involved? But I am involved. We are all involved. I need your love. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. All right, we got a bright green meteor. Fireball. But dunk dunk. Dropping its junk over the sky. In Britain, England, United Kingdom. It's a St. Paddy's Day. A heavenly firework in the heavens. So that's pretty interesting, right? I wonder if it made noise. Too bad your camera ain't color. I'm just gonna take your word for it, media people. A bright meteor has been sighted over Britain in the early hours here on March 17th. Witnesses have described the object as a green flash moving south to north for a few seconds, leaving a magnesium white tail. Sightings have been reported in locations including London, Hampshire, Stafford, and on the east coast of England at 316 Good Mountain Time. Its color has prompted people on Twitter to describe it as the St. Patrick's Day meteor. I don't know, I'm like 95% Norwegian, I think 5% Irish, so that's cool. Man, maybe this meteor is going to help drive out bad snakes. That'd be cool. I could use all the help I can get. It's a St. Patrick's Day meteor. Well, the day has just started. Maybe it's not going to be the only one. You guys seen the near-Earth object chart? Plus, we got uh, more coming in. And they say one of those comets, 252P, linear, might dust us sometime between now and the future. A little closer to the 28th, as it makes its close approach to Earth on the 22nd, 23rd. And this could be like the fifth closest comet in Earth history. It's not uncommon. Well, thanks. Describing the meteor as spectacular, Dr. Mason. <laughs> Why not? That's Dr. John Mason of the British Astronomical Association said it was bright enough to be categorized as a fireball. Well, fantastic. We got ourselves a St. Patty's Day fireball. Snakes hate fire. Well, I would imagine most animals that can't control it aren't big fans of it. He believes it was a piece of cosmic rock, which almost certainly came from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Okay. Sweet. I'm almost positive that this cosmic space rock came from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Well, I'm guessing it passed through the belt to get to Earth, so in one way he's correct. Thank God for professional science people. Man, that was clarify shit for us. He said the green color was caused by the meteor heating up the oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere. Meteors of this kind are not uncommon, he said, saying he estimated there was at least one a week over the UK. It was just that, I guess, cameras were only on today or some shit? Maybe they, maybe they only turn cameras on during the holidays over the UK. Richard Kasprick from the UK Meteor Observation Network told the BBC it had received reports from across the country. He was the network's cameraman at Church Kirkman in Hampshire had captured the meteor from the west. This is the biggest meteor sighting we've ever recorded. But it's not uncommon. It's the biggest. But it's not uncommon. That's kind of interesting. Right? That's like a oxymoron of ideas, man. It lasted for a few seconds. That's what she said. It was seen for hundreds of miles. That's what she said. We have received a number of emails. I don't know if she said that. He said the network of astronomy enthusiasts recorded about 10 to 15 meteors every year. Wonderful. An astronomer at the Institute of Cosmology and Gravitation at the University of Portsmouth, Dr. Karen Masters, said thousands of these objects hit the Earth every day. Calm down, people. It's not uncommon. Even though it's the biggest we've ever seen. And it was green. Cinegen? <laughs> what? It's an app on the phone. It's not an iPhone. She said most of them are over the oceans or uninhabited parts of the world. So we don't see them. And quite rarely one goes over such a populated place and be so bright. So it's not uncommon. It's just quite rare. Okay. You people are confused. She said the size of the meteor would depend on its velocity. But it was probably as big as a tennis ball. All right. That's cool, man. It's got to be nice having a job where you don't have to verify nothing. I don't know. I imagine it's about as big as uh, an ice cream cart. The, the dude in the park pushes, selling ice cream. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. All right. Can I have my Nobel Peace Prize now? Meteors. Meteors are small rocks or particles of debris. Let's see. Mostly no larger than a grain of sand, which burn up as they enter Earth's atmosphere at high speed. On entering the atmosphere, these particles heat the air around them, causing the light, which can be seen from the ground. To be called a fireball, the meteor has to appear brighter than the planet Venus. Wow, I didn't know that. We learn something new every day. Okay. Meteors can be traveling through the atmosphere at speeds of between 8 and 40 miles per second. You mean they can't go faster than that? Yeah, that's kind of a dumb sentence. If a meteor survives the passage to the atmosphere and impacts with the Earth's surface, it is then called a meteorite. Thank you, British Astronomical Association. All right, so like I've been reporting on, we got a giant comet. Whoa, I'm sorry, we got a tiny comet. <laughs> See what I did there? Nobody knows what size is, though. It's really good. It's all guesses and speculation. Coming in 
Comet 2B2P. Let's see if they've added some shit. See here, we had close approach comets there. Sweet. I covered all this already in the video. See if there's anything new. All right, so we will be watching the skies. Look at those 2016s in there. From now to 22nd, I guess the 28th. Story just got longer because this is when the comets pass and they're both pretty close, have the same orbit, which is really weird. It's rare and uncommon and bizarre, strange and interesting. And then this is when they say the meteor shower is going to be caused by that comet. So the story is going to run for at least about two more weeks. Let's keep an eye out for fireballs. We're shit in the sky. Okay? Keep your eyes to the skies. And stay cool. Good morning, folks. Heads up. Fucking earthquakes, man. Fracking. <laughs> okay. There's a whatever. God bless everyone. Strange days indeed. Peace out. Stay cool. And don't let the bastards get you down. Man, it's been a weird day. And it just started. Oh, no. Okay, I gotta move some shit. Catch a plane. Peace out.